This is the video presentation of the Gemman 4 stage turbo pump model M100. But first, let's see what a high pressure pump or HPA pump is. PCP air guns need a very high pressure for the air to push the projectile, usually a pellet, down the barrel and all the way to the target. Usually the minimum pressure for a shot is around 70 or 80 bar or around 100 psi. But in order to be able to shoot multiple times, the air storage container needs to store air at a much higher pressure. The most common storage pressure is around 200 bar or 2900 psi, but there are models that use up to 300 bar, 4300 psi. 200 bar is 200 times the normal atmospheric pressure, so it's a really high pressure. A normal bicycle pump gets to around 3 or 4 bar. So, to be able to generate such a high pressure, a special pump is needed. This type of pressure is also used in scuba diving tanks and in medical oxygen tanks. So, it's a very specialized domain. These applications usually use bigger volumes, so they use special compressors to get to these pressures. A compressor is like an automated pump. So the principle is the same, it's just an electric motor that is doing the work instead of your muscles. For air guns, there are three ways to fill an air cylinder. A manual pump, an air tank that was filled previously somewhere else, or a small compressor. The air tank is relatively cheap, but you have to fill it somehow somewhere, so that is a hassle. The small compressor is quite expensive, especially the good ones. There are less expensive compressors made in China that are good, but most aren't. I chose the manual pump because it's cheap and it's quite hassle-free. The pump I got is the Gemman M100 4-stage PCP pump. This is a special pump in the sense that it's made especially for competition air guns, both air and pistol. It does not have a hose, it only has this standard 200 bar 5 thread DIN connector. All competition guns have an adapter between this connector and their air cylinders. As you can see, this one's manufactured in 2021 and it's made in Sweden. So it might be made and uh, is made by somebody else for the German, German shop. This is the Feinverbau adapter. All Feinverbau PCP cylinders since the 1990s, both pistol and rifles, use this adapter. One end is screwed in the DIN connector, like this, and the other end, the cylinder is screwed in here. like this. It only needs hand power, so you don't need any tools to, to tighten it. Just turn by hand and when you feel it's tight, it's tight enough. So the cylinder is fixed to the pump, there's no hose, it's quite sturdy like this. You can handle it, put it down and pump. No need to worry about the, the cylinder moving. Other manufacturers have other types of adapters like Steyr and Walter, where the adapter inserts into the cylinder. I don't know which design is the best, but unlike the Feinwerkbau, for Steyr and Walter, you cannot bleed the system with the cylinder still screwed on because it will empty the cylinder. The pump comes already assembled in the box. Only the foot plate needs to be attached at the base with the provided screws. Also in the box there is a sheet of paper with the operating instructions in English and German.
one interesting thing is here it says maximum of 270 bar on the base it said maximum pressure 250 bar and on the manometer it goes all the way up to 300 bar so the maximum pressure might be somewhere in between as i said this is a four stage pump usually most hpa pumps have three stages meaning there are three concentric cylinders and the air passes from one stage to the next in the course of pumping i don't pretend to understand how this works there is a video made by someone else that tries to explain how this works but i don't think it's 100 percent correct link in the top right corner and in the description this being a four stage pump complicates things even further the interesting thing is that this screw at the top enables or disables the fourth stage how that works i have no idea the instructions say that when using four stages the pump pushes around 300 cubic centimeters of air while when using three stages it pushes around 200 cubic centimeters the idea is to start with the uh, four stages with the top screw on counterclockwise and then after 150 bar switch to three stages with the top switch off clockwise supposedly this uh, helps with pumping should be more uh, easy to pump i usually don't use this screw i keep it screwed in i guess that means it's off and using only three stages i tried it in the other position and could not tell the difference it seems to me to require the same amount of effort to push speaking of effort i don't find it too difficult to pump it's true that i'm on the heavy side so that might be a, an advantage to pump the P8X cylinder from 100 bar, which is the almost empty position, to 200 bar, which is the maximum pre safe pressure, it requires 125 strokes. And that takes me around 5.5 minutes. Usually, I take a break in the middle at around 160-170 bar, to not overheat the pump after the pressure has reached the desired value open the screw under the manometer this one to bleed the system the high pressure air will vent from this side hole so be careful not to have fingers in the vicinity it's not quite easy to unscrew because it has 100 and something pressure behind it then you can easily unscrew the adapter and the cylinder just like this comes off quite easy this bleeding screw also functions as a water separator valve as this pump is fitted with a moisture separator to eliminate oxidation during pumping. So when the system is bled, the moisture is also vented out. And also don't forget to screw in. The instruction manual indicates that uh, no maintenance is needed for this model as it has been greased with a lifetime of grease. However, the o-rings inside the pump do not last forever so uh, seal kits are available for purchase for around 30 euros the manual also says that the pump is not to be dismantled by the owner so the seals should be swapped by a specialized technician there is however on the gaman site a video on how to replace all the o-rings as i mentioned overheating is a problem that must be avoided Pressurizing air produces heat in accordance to the thermodynamic laws and heat is the enemy of rubber o-rings. 
it is advised not to pump continuously in excess of 5 minutes. Overall, I find this pump to be quite good. It is of good build quality, feels solid and I used it for over a year now and I had no problems. As long as the pumping is not too frequent and the volume of air to fill is not too large, it is a very good, easy and cheap way to fill an air gun cylinder.